Hi everyone, my name is Molly and I am a programming librarian at the Cedar Rapids Public Library. A lot of my job is testing to see if things will work for our programs, whether it's a craft, a project, all sorts of things. So, welcome to Can I Craft That? Okay, so for today's Can I Craft That? We are going to be trying a paint pour. Uh, these are things that have been going around Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, all kinds of crazy places where they take and they pour paint. Easy, right? That should just be fine. We can do that. The paint pour we're going to be trying today is one that I just recently saw where they take a canvas, they take acrylic paints, and then they pour it over marbles that are glued only slightly to a canvas. Okay? Simple enough. But we're going to try it a little bit differently. Let me show you what I found today. I do have a canvas. It's flat. Look at that. I do have some acrylic paint. So we're going to see if that works. I picked some yucky colors so that we didn't waste all the good ones, but this should be an interesting thing to look at later. So it's like black, golden brown, orange, Spanish olive, mm, yes, and bright red. Okay. Now the video that I watched suggested that you use marbles because, well, that makes sense, right? I don't have any marbles, so I worked with what I could find. And what I could find was a bouncy ball, this weird rubber basketball that's here, a squishy, what I can only imagine is for golf, mini golf or something, squishy golf ball, and then two regular golf balls, one of which has been chewed up. Now, the whole goal of this is that I then place these items onto the canvas, just like so, with some glue. I then pour the paint over top of them, bloop, 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 and let it roll. That's why they need to be spherical. After that, it's supposed to marble and make beautiful effects. Let's go ahead and see what happens. I don't have any glue, but I do have some spray on craft glue that I'm going to use instead. Let's try it. I don't know if this is going to work. We're gonna go ahead and shake up our craft bond. Now, in the video that I watched, they used Elmer's glue and just kind of made a trail so that when it was all said and done, it would gracefully just like have the marbles roll down the picture. I think that we need these just so the spherical objects will stay in place. I sprayed my couch. This is very old. <laughs> now we just stick these buddies on here doesn't really matter where they go, I don't think. I don't know that this bitten up one's gonna work. Just, oh yeah, hey, this glue's actually working okay. All right, cool. All right, now we just pour, as far as I can tell. This is what we do. <laughs> what color do you like best? I think I'm gonna start with this red. Now, as far as I can tell, you just squirt it on top and do the same pattern for all of them. So we're gonna try it. Ooh, just like that. Uh, please use items that you're not going to want back because I think that that's how this works is you don't get it back. I don't think that's enough paint. That's one thing that I have read about this is that it uses a lot of paint. Like maybe a waste of paint. This seems like maybe it's a waste of paint to me. These are the, the most ugly, disgusting colors <laughs> oh, of all time. This is great. This is going to be so great. Kind of like a 
strange candy apple-esque thing. We're gonna try some white to add in some. Oh, oh, my white is chunky. Okay, well, we gotta keep going. Okay, it's like cottage cheese. Chinkle, chinkle, okay. Yep, nope, shaking it didn't help. Well, this is why we try, right? This is why we try. How about this orange? I'm gonna try this orange now. Okay, cover up the chunky white there. Glad I picked these yucky colors because this is using all of the paint. Okay, it's, I mean, it's starting to do something, I guess. Gonna do some black, 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 black. I, I don't, uh-oh, uh-oh, our bouncy ball's rolling. It's time to roll. Okay, we're gonna do one last squirt of red. Okay, now the next step is to kind of just let it roll, I think. Oh, golf ball's going for it. That one, breaking free. And this is why you glue them first, I think, so that they break free, but gradually. Okay, oh, I mean, that's all right. This is making art. This is something that's happening. I mean, this is kind of pretty, right? Yeah. Yeah, we kind of like that. Okay. Oh, but look at all that paint. It's like a paint trail. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now it's on my rug. <laughs> okay. Well... Actually, it's kind of pretty, and I kind of like it. I gotta clean up my rug real quick. Hold on. So, apart from it being kind of a waste of paint, um, it actually works really well. Uh, this is pure saturated painty goodness. Um, it's really thick, and I shouldn't be picking it up, honestly. <laughs> Uh, you can see it's just still like a, a river. Oh, there it goes. I might actually get another canvas. Maybe you could do like a triptych or something so that you have three of them instead of just wasting paint for one. I don't know. Um, it works really well and it's pretty easy. So that's cool. Mission accomplished. We can craft that.